Ah, that's so cute. Hello, Zebrahurt, and welcome to Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Now, I love, love, love Animal Crossing, and they just released this. This is the first ever Animal Crossing game not on a Nintendo console. It is, of course, for iPhone and Android. It's been out for about a month in some smaller countries, but just released the other day in North America. I don't plan on doing a full series on this game, but if you would like to see more videos, maybe I can. I've had other series do well that are sort of social-like that have been on mobile devices like Mitomo and Mitopia. So if you want to see more of this, you can always let me know. I don't know if I plan on doing it. Sorry. I'm already a couple days late, but I couldn't not play at least one video worth of it. It's Animal Crossing. So hopefully, if not anything else, this will get us even more hyped for an eventual Animal Crossing Switch, if that ever happens. I sure hope so. Let's get started. This game is free to start. Leaf tickets are an optional purchase that may be restricted via your device settings. Okay, so yeah, obviously it's a free to play game, so things might be a little different than the average, um, what's it called, your average, Animal Crossing experience, but I'm gonna go and do the stuff you don't care about, linking my Nintendo account and stuff. Okay, it's all linked. Don't worry about saving, this game will auto save your data, for better or for worse. Um, you already, you're ready to download game data, the update is approximately, oh, I gotta do more downloading? Great. Okay, well, it's not taking too long. Feeling sporty, roughing, oh, half pipe, Oh, Word on the street is this skater's paradise is also a huge tourist attraction. Wow, I don't know how much of this is like Animal Crossing and not. Like, is it really just like an Animal Crossing game on the phone, just full-fledged? That would be so cool. But at the same time, I hope not. Like, I want something to be new for Switch. So it's just like, oh, I don't really know what I want this to be. I'm hoping it'll just be its own thing. I haven't heard really too many people talking about it, but hi, KK Slider, how are you doing? Just playing his tunes, like always. Hey there. Welcome to Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Would it be cool if I asked you a question right off the bat? Let's say you're on vacation starting tomorrow. What would you do? The world is yours. I'd explore nature, I'd go far, far away, I'd just chill out. I would probably just chill out. I mean, all of them are good options, and like, maybe I'd do a little bit of everything. I don't like vacations too much. I like just making videos. <laughs> so maybe that would be my best option. You and me both, my friend. Sometimes I wonder if I would have been a fisherman. Well, I think you're headed in the right direction. Enjoy the peace and quiet, and go at your own pace. Right on. It's been good talking to you. You too. Maybe our paths will cross again someday. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. Oh man, Animal Crossing is so great. I would love to hear, maybe this will be my question for today's video. What was the first Animal Crossing game you played? Either for the, be for the GameCube, the DS, the Wii, or the Switch? Or not the Switch, but the 3DS? Not yet, but hopefully soon. Create your character. Get ready to play by customizing the look of your character. Don't worry, you can exchange any of these settings except your basic character type at any time. What is basic character type? I'm guessing male or female. We'll be going with male. Hairstyle, oh my. Okay, well, they don't have very zebratastic styles, but they do have some pretty decent ones. That's not one of them. I don't know what I would choose. Um, that's pretty good, the bed head. I think we gotta go with the bed head. Some of these just aren't fitting with me, but I think the, the bed head is probably my best choice right now. Um, so we'll do that. When it comes to the eyes, we got plenty of hope. Oh, oh boy. Uh, let me, yeah, let's have a dead set look here. Um, we got the black eyes. I don't, I don't think I guess they're supposed to be drowsy. It looks like somebody, he lost a fight, though. Uh, so that's awful. Uh, there's a lot of cool options. Wait, is there an, another page? Oh, no, there's not. I thought that's what the next button was. So there's not a huge selection of eyes. I think that, uh, these are my best option. I would like to change the hair color if I could. It's a little bit, oh, here we go. Um, well, I guess that's really the darkest brown they give you, right? That's more of a red. Could do white hair. Uh, it just does, it looks creamy, it doesn't look white. I think we'll just stick with brown hair then. Hmm, they do give you some wild options though. I just wish it was a more brown brown. I mean, maybe it's just my TV coloration because on my phone it does look a bit different. Skin tone? I think it was fine how it is. I mean, <laughs> pretty basic character I know, but hey, I mean, Animal Crossing doesn't give you that much depth, does it? Looking good? Yeah. All right, I got I, those shorts gotta go. Those shorts is out of here. But uh, beyond that, we're looking good. Um, cool. So there's our character made. 
Ooh, now I don't know what it's like playing with other players, like if there's like a multiplayer to this game or any kind of a uh, friend interaction. Maybe I'll share my NNID with some of you who don't already have it, and maybe you can somehow interact with me here. Oh, hey, Isabelle, how are you doing? Oh, a van. Cool. What's up? Oh, hey, I, I was in the van, cool. Wanna walk somewhere? Just tap the screen. If you drag your finger across the screen, I don't have any of those, your character will follow along. Tap anywhere or anything that catches your eye. There's lots to discover, so things are interactable. Questions? You can always check out the beginner's guide. Awesome. Hi, Isabel, how you doing? Ah, oh, welcome. You must be the new camp manager I've been waiting for. It's great to meet you. Uh, I'm, I'm the what? No need to be modest. I, I've heard th great things about you. Now, I have you all registered and everything, but I'm not quite sure how to pronounce your name. Please keep in mind that other players will be able to see your nickname and appearance. Okay, enter a nickname using up to 10 characters. Well, it won't take me that many, it'll only take me five. Zebra. All right. Did I hear that right? You go by Zebra? That's me. All right, welcome to your new campsite, Zebra. My name is Isabel, and it's my pleasure to show you around and explain how things work. As camp manager, you've got a run, uh, you've got the run of this place. You can set up amenities and furniture any way you like. There are so many possibilities. And of course, since it's such a spacious campsite, you'll be able to host quite a few guests. Cool, I'll do my best. Great, now I'll just need a tiny bit more time to make the place perfect for you and your guests. Oh, and a bit of information too. Tell me, how would you describe your ideal campsite in one word? Natural, cute, sporty, or cool? I'd say cool. I mean, well, it definitely isn't sporty. I don't plan on making it too cute. Natural, I don't know. So let's just say cool. Okay, choose whichever theme you like best. You'll be able to collect all items no matter which one you select. So fans, oh, like maybe like Apollo will show up more often. So let me just like select all of them to see. Uh oh, did I misunderstand? Let's try again. How would you describe your adult campsite? I want to see like each one. So this one is um, sporty. This would attract Jane, and I like the look of that one visually. It's actually looking really fun. So let me just take a look at each one. We got cute, and cute would attract Rosie. Oh, that is very cute. Um, and then finally, we have natural. Oh, I like that as well. This one attracts Goldie. Oh, it's hard to say, but I think I still want to go with cool. Like I'm, I'm now I'm very split between that and natural. I think I'll go with cool then. Let's go, we can still get all the items so there's no sweat. Got it, oh, I can't wait to show off the place when it's all ready. Actually, now that I think about it, would you be able to help me out a teensy bit? I'd like to get you all set up with your brand new furniture, but I'm a little short on craft materials. Why don't you drive that shiny new camper over to Breezy Hollow and see if anyone needs help? Trading craft materials around is kind of how we do things out here in the country, you'll see. Okay. So I can pull up the map here. We are here and we need to move there. Breezy Hollow, Apollo. <laughs> that rhymes. Um, wait, what is the found here? I can press, oh, pressing the magnifying glass doesn't do anything. This forest has it all. Fresh fruit, free fruit, fresh free fruit in the forest. <laughs> okay, he wants a fruit. Okay, well, that's not what I'm supposed to be going there for, but if I get a fruit, I'll, I'll Give it to him. Uh, fulfill animal requests to earn crap materials like wood, something, and other something. Oh, maybe I am supposed to be doing that. Helping out. As you travel around, you'll meet visiting animals who could use a little help. Give them things they need, and you can level up your friendship. You will also need, you also get bells and special gifts. Just remember, you're all camping, so your new friends will move around some. Keep an eye out. Yeah, I guess that's sort of the idea. I mean, I feel like they released this game a little late in the year, but hey, hey, I don't know you, do I? Not yet, we're gonna be best friends. Really, I'm asking you, the old noggin ain't what he used to be. Ah, oh, so your name's Zebra. Great to meet you, kiddo. All right, oh, plus one friendship. He's gonna be my best friend. So Zebra, what is it that brings you to a little old slice of paradise? I'll, I'll tell you right off the bat that I'm here for the fruit, ha <laughs> ha Um, I could bring you fruit. You do that for me? Well, you're all right. In that case, could I trouble you for an apple? Sure, I'll get you one. So, got one apple on the line here. Our friendship. 
It's up in the arms. Uh, you can shake any tree just by tapping on it. Shaking will knock the fruit to the ground, then just tap on the piece of fruit to pick it up. Okay, so let's look around for a tree that might have opened the map to travel to another area. Never mind. So it looks like that's an exit area, but there is a tree here. Oh man, this is beautiful. Like visually, this is the best looking Animal Crossing game yet. It's just so smooth. I mean, Animal Crossing graphics aren't too crazy, but just the fidelity to everything's looking good. It's just like everything's super clear. So I'll go ahead and get whatever I can. So if there's oranges, I'll grab those as well. Grab that one, and then that one. I know this is cool that it is free to start and free to play, but I feel like sometimes I would prefer, can we go in there? If maybe it was like Mario Run where you pay like a minimum amount and then you actually just get the full game and it's like not that egregious with making you pay things. I'm not really sure I know that there's a number of Nintendo games now that are on mobile phones. This, there's Fire Emblem Warriors or whatever it's called. I think it's, or whatever it is on the phone. I've never played that one. A lot of people say you do have to put a lot of money into it if you really want to get far though, which is just like, oh, I don't like that. Like it's gonna take us three hours for these trees to be ready, which I guess sort of makes sense. I don't know how long that would be in Animal Crossing. Like maybe it would be the same amount. I can't remember to be honest. Um, But for now, that should be good. Is there any way to make a character run? I don't think so. All right, we got three apples, you only need one. So did you come through for me, kiddo? Here, take this. Uh, Here you go. All right, oh, a little bag with a bear on it. Oh, thanks a million. Give him a pair instead, haha, <laughs> no. Uh, request complete. Here's your reward, we get 100 bells and two cotton. Cool. It means a lot to me, uh, a lot to meet someone you can count on, you know? Now, I'm gonna learn you something important, so pay attention. That cotton I gave you, go see Cyrus about that. He can work wonders with it, furniture wonders. Oh my, okay. Speaking of which, how would you feel about picking up a couple more things for me? If you could find a cherry, a peach, and an orange, I'd be mighty grateful. <laughs> okay, I got all, I don't have the cherries. Um, What's the latest, any luck out there, fruit harvesting? Uh, Where do I find it? Just take a straw on the place, kiddo, you'll be lucky if the fruit doesn't fall right on your head. In all seriousness, just get the trees here shake, then pick up the fruit, easy peasy. So I just gotta find the cherries. You already told me about gathering fruit. I was just maybe get it, hoping to get a little extra hint for the cherries. They're probably just down here. Oh, this area is really nice. Okay, they're around here somewhere, I'm sure of it. Uh, cherries, maybe not. Uh, oh, they're right in front of my face. It's just they blend in so gosh darn well. So let's pick up that cherry, that cherry, and then finally, this cherry, oh, this cherry. Okay, now I got everything you need, and I get a couple to save for my own. So did you come through from a get um? Here, take this. I gotta make sure my phone doesn't unplug. Here you go. Of course, cool, so we're giving them one of each, we get to keep the other two. Ah, thanks a million. You know what? This looks so good, I'm gonna eat all of it right now. You want in on the action? Oh, do we get some too? Yeah, look at us, we got a little fruit bouquet or something. I'm enjoying fresh fruit with Apollo. This is the best. Request complete. Oh, this is the best. <laughs> Here's your reward. We get 300 bells, two cotton, and two more cotton. A bonus, cool. I don't know why we're getting a bonus, but. Ha, ah, that hit the spot. All right, are we level two? We're level two. Sweet. Here's your reward. We get 200 bells, cool essence, and paper. So I guess we get even more rewards for becoming better friends with him. That's good. Well, we had some fruits and we had some fun, didn't we? I hope we're past cross again, Zebra. I'll definitely keep my eye out for you. Take care, kiddo. I wonder if my campsite's ready. It definitely is. Okay. Oh, we're just going back. We don't even get to choose. Okay. So it looks like we can even catch bugs. I wonder if we can go fishing. Like, are all the features here? Oh, hey, look. There's a shop in the background. First off, I want to check some other things out. Like, there's little plus symbols on like some of the sim like some of the icons, the numbers on the top of the level one. I try to click on it though, nothing happens. Um, hi. Zebron, welcome back. Well, I hope this has been worth the wait. Everything is almost ready for you to start camping. It looks great in here. I can't wait. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I should point out that all of this lovely furniture is from Cyrus and Reese. Oh, thanks. Are they the two little sheep in the background? I, I don't remember. I didn't play too much of the 3DS one. They're the owners and the operators of Retail on the Road, a mobile craft workshop unlike any other. It's nice to meet you. Oh, and, oh, look at that. 
You, you've already got your hands on some craft materials. Yes, I have. I'd love to show you what we can do with them. Now let's do it right now. I'll take a look at this craft catalog and see if anything strikes your fancy. Sure. So we got the craft catalog right here. Furniture you can craft. I can craft a nice sofa. So let's order. What if it rains? You know, this, this all of this is gonna be awful. So it looks like Apollo loves this. Um, let's just craft it. Okay. Good hide. I'll get right on it. All right. So they make stuff. Ha, that's Cyrus for you. Already hard at work. He often has other projects too, so it could take him a little while to get to yours. Of course, if you're feeling antsy, you could always speed up things up with the leave tickets. Here, I actually have a few extra leave tickets right now. And I'll show you how it works. This is where things happen, where it's like, this is the kind of game where if you want everything to actually happen in the time you want it, you gotta pay up. But if you are patient about it, it's fine. So we wanna give you one leave ticket. Apparently I had one. Um, Thanks, Isabel. So now we got our sofa made. So I can tap this again? Looks like it. Hey. Ooh, all finished. All right, we got a modern sofa. It does look cool. Not bad if I do say so myself. Take good care of it, okay? All right, I suppose it's time to head back to town. Be sure to let us know if you want to craft anything else, Zebrun. We're ready. In fact, we're just a few taps away on your phone. And we're always expanding our catalog. You should see some of the bigger amenities that Cyrus has crafted for our clients. Awesome. So there's more stuff done. Wow, that really was a nice piece he made for you. I'm a little jealous. It's going to be, it's going to look great out here, too. Here, I'll help you get it set up. Okay, so now we're gonna find out how to place furniture, I guess. Tap the grid icon on the upper right side of the screen to begin arranging furniture and items. Tap place item to place new items on your campsite or inside your camper. Once the item is placed, tap and hold your finger to move it or hoof, or tap once to rotate it. To put things away, tap put away and then tap any items you wanna store. When you're all finished, tap back and then tap done to save your layout. Okay, let's try this. So where do we want it? Do we want it over here? Sure, I mean, I think it would match pretty well in that little empty space where clearly there's supposed to be a sofa. Place. Okay, yeah, yeah, just basically did it for me. Seems good to me. Uh, see this layout? Sure. I mean, can I like particularly move things block by block? I'd have to imagine if there's a grid like that. It's perfect, don't you think? Oh no, I almost forgot. You've got to set the place up to sleep. Uh, here, find a good place for this basic tent. Okay. Um. So, probably in the area that looks obviously for a tent. Let's place the item there. Amenities, tent, place. Okay, there's that, all done. I am saving this just because it wants me to. Not bad. Now what? Uh, talking to you? There we go, now it's all coming together nicely. The only thing left to do is to start inviting more people to come enjoy the place. Come on, I know someone who will love the way you've got things set up. Oh, contacts, oh, I didn't even realize we had contacts. Apollo, come on in, buddy. Oh, you give a call. Apollo, friendship level two, points to next level four, special requests, I wanna visit your camp fight. campsite. And a camp fight. Uh, I don't wanna fight with Apollo, he kicked my butt. Uh, host animal at campsite. Hey, yo, let's see what we can do. Um. Hey, here he is. I hope he likes it. It looks like he does, cool. I just chilling out on the sofa. Nice. Maybe taking a nap in the tent? Oh no, on the hammock. This is what you do at campsites, huh? You just lay it around. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Cool. You're on a tight ship here, kiddo. The place is looking great. Awesome. Yeah, he likes me, he really likes me. Yes, now Apollo can come to my, visit my campsite anytime. All right, new guest invited. So how many guests can we have? Infinite? <laughs> it's so much fun getting everyone together like this, don't you think? I just love this place. Okay, cool. Oh, the little jingle, that's a nice tune. Okay, great stuff, fantastic progress, I think. Um, You seem to love it, too. Um, oh, can we, we can move around, or no? Wow, you're off to a great start. I knew you'd make a first class camp manager. I can't wait to see how things are going when you're hosting all kinds of visitors. 
Uh, I'll do my best. Oh, I almost forgot. I have one more surprise for you. It's a small camp warming gift. Oh boy, we get a bag. It's a barf bag. <laughs> Outdoor fun starter pack. We get 2,000 bells, three fertilizer, one honey, one see through net, another river thrown net, and then 15 wood and 15 cotton. Cool, I'm sure that'll all be helpful. It's kind of a starter pack for the great outdoors. After all, there's so much to do around here. I hope that I hope that pack helps you experience it all. I'm sure it will. Well, I suppose I should get going. I've got an important job too. That said, I do try my, to make myself available at the marketplace, so come see me if you need anything. All right, thank you. So there we go. Cool. New animal has been added to your contact list. We got Goldie, Rosie, Jay, and Philbert. Philbert's a funny name. Uh, you can now make one or more new items. Look for look for the item or for them in your craft catalog. Uh, file up your camper and tour the re recreation spots. Cool. Fire up, not file up. <gasps> All right. There's that done. That's fantastic. Uh, data download. Another one. Okay. Okay, so the download is complete. I had a little mini game where I could collect coins, but I got like a message. Okay, download complete. You can pick up the bills you collected in your mailbox later. So that's cool. When you're doing downloads or when you're loading something, you can just collect coins. That's really nice. I appreciate that. Okay, well, there's that done. Now where are we going? Okay, so we're back at camp. Apollo's here. Login bonus. We get something. I don't know. But I'll try to log on every day, even if I'm not always recording. So we get another login bonus. We can send one one or more bonus items to your mailbox. Tap the mailbox icon to collect. Okay, well, we got time goals, nine hours left. Give kudos to another player at his or her campsite. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that today. Uh, yellow perch collecting, get three of them. And then black bass collecting, get three of them. So those are like time goals where we only have so much time to do them, we only have nine hours left. Here are the stretch goals, become a campsite manager. We've completed that so we can go ahead and collect 10 tickets. And then if we linked our Nintendo account, which we did, congratulations, keep up the good work. We sent more, one of our bonus items to the mailbox. And then also we get 100 more of them, which is crazy. And then what are the other ones? Chat with one of the animals visiting a recreation spot. That'll give us some interesting things. Complete a request for an animal, catch five fish, catch five bugs, lots of little things like that. Reach level three, we're only level one apparently. Tons of things to do that I'm sure will happen mostly naturally. Hello again, Zebra. Hi, how you doing? You know, I've been thinking. Sometimes I like to wander off in the woods and crawl into a hollow log for a while, just to be alone. Wow, okay, maybe that's a little extreme. But meeting up with you was so, so was the most fun I've had in ages. So I had an idea. It's almost like a vision. Oh, what's your vision? The vision of Apollo. Whoa. Uh. Well, this is a little crazy. I mean, this isn't exactly what I had in mind when I thought about my camp. But I'm glad everyone's around having fun. Uh. What if you invited a whole bunch of folks to this place? It could be the start of something great. Well, I'm just an old fool, but if you like, if you feel like giving it a whirl, I can give you some pointers. Sure, I always want to do, I'll do my best. <laughs> now that's the spirit, you've got some moxie, kiddo. So first things first, you've got to get out there and mingle. You ever heard of saltwater shores? That's where I'd start. Hit the beach, pick up a few things for people, and rank in those crafting materials. Huh, <laughs> your generation has it too easy, that's what they all say. Okay, well, got anything else for me, is that it? Um, oh, map, here we go. So he wants me to go to the beach. Saltwater Shores. Um, I still can't press the little, press the little plus. Either way, Goldie, just sitting here on the beach letting my troubles drift out the sea. I wouldn't mind some company. That right. so Goldie wants some kind of fish. Cool. So let's go ahead and do that. Fulfill animal requests to earn craft materials like wood, steel, paper, and more. Well, that's what we're gonna go do right now. Cool. So this is, this is like Animal Crossing, but a bit more grindy. There's a fish. Tap to cast your line. Okay, first, uh, oh, catching fish. Cast a line by tapping the water near the surface. Try to place your lure where the fish can see it. Yep. When a fish is on the line, an exclamation point will pop up, so it's easier than Animal Crossing fishing. Uh, tap the screen to quickly reel it in. Wow, okay, that's easier. So let's get over here and just throw it. And they're probably gonna make this one nice and easy. Wow, this really is like a really good looking game though. Like graphically, it's just, it's so clear. All right, so we're gonna wait until the exclamation point pops up and then tap, 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 tap. We got it. Horse mackerel. 
Cool, I think that's what she was looking for. I'll also pick up some of this stuff if I can, a conch shell, because these are materials, I'm sure, or maybe can be sold for materials. I mean, that's what I would do in the normal Animal Crossing games is I would sell them, and then we could shake the palm tree, because these have, like, what, coconuts? Yeah, these are coconuts, I'll take them. And then it's gonna take another, so I could, oh, what's this? Use fertilizer to grow more fruit immediately? Not yet, I'll wait until I need something. But cool that I can do that. Here's another scallop shell. Can I take the, these drinks? They're mine now? No, I can't, okay. Um. Oh, Oh, if I had a net, I do have a net. So I could maybe throw out something here. And also, there's an, another villager. Hello, who are you? You just met up with whatever that says. What would you like to do? View market back, visit her camp for site. Oh wow, we can do lots of stuff. Can I choose who I see though? Like maybe more of this can be zebra herd members. That'd be great. Either way, it's just cool to see somebody else chilling out here. And obviously they're not like somebody playing right now. That is just somebody's character. And, but that's still very cool. So I'll catch as many fish as I can while I'm here. And like I said, I don't know if I'll be doing a full series on this game. This may as well might, might just be the only video I ever do on this game. I'm not sure. It depends on what you guys are interested in. It's almost a little too late there, but I, I got it, I got it. Another horse mackerel. Um, Which will you use? You can catch lots of fish at once using a throw net. I only have one of them though. And it's a C throw net. There's also an LG throw net and then a medium, I guess like a light throw net and a medium throw net. And the bigger net it is, it seems like the wider variety of things it can catch. Um, let's just try this one because it's what I have. Use the C throw net, sure. And then maybe I could come back later. I don't know. Elio? Or maybe it just happens all at once. Uh, they didn't really tell me anything, so. Oh, hooray, I caught some cute fish, an angry squid too. A horse mackerel, two of those one weird fish, and an angry looking squid. Cool. So can I like find out, man, there's like lots of stuff just on my screen now. Um, Let's see, can we go through it all? We got our level here, and we're currently level one, points to the next level is three, level two bonus, we get a bunch of stuff there. And when it comes to this, I guess this is where we can buy more tickets with real life money. Um, they tell me, tell me special offers on the top left. Oh yeah, these are the special, uh, wow. Actually, that's a lot of stuff for just a dollar from as, as far as I can see. But I'm not buying any of it. I don't plan on it. Anyways, yeah, I didn't purchase anything. Yeah, your purchase has been canceled good because I didn't try to purchase anything. Anyways, what do we got here? We got an announcements page, notices. Okay, here we go. I was gonna say a whole bunch of nothing. So let's go all the way to the beginning if we can. Login in and rewards, KK and Tom Nook come to visit, limited time, ooh. Have you bumped into KK or Tom Nook yet? If you craft KK Slider's chair or Tom Nook's chair and place either one in your campsite, the item's owner will show up and hang out for as long as you want. You can order KK Slider's chair from Tom Nook's and Tom Nook's chair from the special available for a limited time section of the craft menu. That is cool. And then we also got 72 hour beginner's pack available now. So I guess only 72 hours after like, I start the game. Um, or maybe 72 hours after the game launches, because it's, it's about that time. Um, I won't be buying that, but it's cool to know that that is something I could buy. Uh, launch operation savings. To celebrate the release of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, we're offering special launch celebration packs now. Cool. And then finally, we got launch gifts for you. Oh, to celebrate the launch, we're giving all players a few special gifts. They're available in your mailbox right now, so we got some of those already, I think. Uh, the gifts have already been sent to your mailbox. And then finally we have camp orientation, which we learned much about this, but it gives us like, I guess a couple more videos, which is pretty cool. If I get stuck, I'll look at that, some of that. And then finally, welcome to Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Welcome to Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Relax and enjoy the great outdoors with your animal friends. That's a funny little gif, I love it. Okay, so we'll close out of this. I still wanna look through everything. Here's our market box. You can list fish, fruit, and bugs for sale in the market box. Is this like real life market? Like it'll depend on what I price it, will depend who buys it. Tap to select an item, how many you want to sell, and then the price. Other players, yeah, can buy any items you've listed for sale. So this is like a real market, which means it might be like economy based, like it might change. You can also view other players' market box by talking to him or her. Cool. So I haven't sold anything. I guess I could buy things through the market as well. And here is playing with friends. If I wanted to do that, you can view your friends' campers and market box items at any time. Since I actually haven't told you guys if I plan on doing this, maybe I'll make it special for those of you who've watched at the end of the video. So, um, kudos from, I haven't received any kudos yet. All right, well, if you want to add me as a friend, here you go. 
Only for those of you who watch at the end. <laughs> if there's somebody commenting down below like, Zebra, what is your code? Don't tell them, shh, it's only for the people who watch for the end. <laughs> uh, maybe that's mean. If I if this video does well, and we do a second video, I'll, I'll let you guys know at the beginning of that video. So those of you who are dying to know, won't have to wait long if you don't watch the whole video. But you should if you really want to see, if you want to add me. Um, either way, we got three river throw nets, we got three honeys, 150 bells, three sea throw nets, a leaf ticket, veggie basket, um, leave, 20 leaf tickets. So if we don't take this stuff relatively soon, I guess 30 days, six days, it'll eventually go away. So we got tons of tickets here, that's crazy. How many tickets do we have in total now? Uh, items received, we have 131, cool. Um, and then finally, let's see Isabel. Time the stretch goal is tap as a bell icon to see the list of time goals and stretch goals you need to complete. You can earn bells, crap and shields, items, and more for completing them. Time goals are time sensitive, so be sure to check the list often. Okay. Lots more stuff there. We already checked out some of this stuff, but I guess now that it's complete, I can get some of it. Cool. So I got that. Got that. Collect five seashells. Yeah, like, like I said, most of the stuff we just sort of get naturally. And I'm guessing the more we progress, the harder it will be to progress. That's usually how these games work. But finally, I'll collect all of this, and I think that's where we're gonna be finishing it for this first video on Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. That was so much fun, and I'd love to play more, so if you wanna see more, just let me know. But for now, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. If you watch this sort video, make sure you comment Zebra Camp so I know you've watched at the end and that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.